Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I'm Koi Tijizi and in this video we are going to do a battle against Shoming Kandata. So this is actually going to be the uh, higher level uh, Hokura battle. So uh, pretty much if you go to the Hokura list, pretty much right over here you can actually see the details about this Hokura. So this is going to be recommended for uh, level 50. Um, uh, special classes so uh, pretty much with this here you can see that um, all the uh, effective skills are all the skills uh, represented are all effective so what weapon physical technique spell and breath and then here for the effective attributes you have Bagi, Meta, Io, Hero, Jibaria and Dorma so Gira and uh, Dane are not mentioned here but in terms of Dane Dane is actually going to be the ineffective attribute. So in the past, Dane has been the most effective attribute against uh, Kanata, but for this year, it's actually going to be ineffective. And then also pretty much with this, the first three that you have, Bagi, Meta, and Io, those are probably gonna be the main ones that you want to use. So pretty much uh, for this particular battle, I'm going to actually have uh, this team right here. So this is going to be a Bagi based team. So pretty much here with my ninja, I'm going to have on the Claw of Black Storm. So this is going to be actually very uh, useful. Um, pretty much with this character, I'll focus my attacks on Kandata uh, and pretty much uh, do damage and also possibly lower his attack power, which is going to be quite uh, useful for this battle. Then here for my High Priest, I'm going to have on the Angel Rod. So again, this is going to be a uh, standard uh, healing and then also possibly getting charms. And also I will be using Blade Dance to increase attack power of, the, of my allies. Then here with my God Hand, I'm going to have on the uh, Master Dragon Spear. So this does uh, very good boggy damage to one enemy. So with Sky Dragon's Judgment, so I will be using that uh, focusing on Kandata. Then over here for my uh, Archmage, I'm going to have the Archmage equipped on with the Great Sealed Sage. So with this particular weapon, um, I'm going to use the Wind Chapter to end. So that actually does Baki spell damage to all the enemies. So that actually does very good, um, very effective uh, for this particular battle. And then also that increases the evasion rate of this particular character. So I now want to actually go over Kandata uh, real quickly and his abilities, but first I actually want to... That's actually enough for this particular battle. So I actually now want to go over this particular uh, Hokura in details in terms of the enemy. So right over here with this particular enemy Hokura. So with Kandata, Kandata is going to be a villain type character, going to have around 111,000 HP have one to two actions per turn. So uh, here are the weaknesses, you have uh, Bagi, Mera, Io, Hyaro, Jibari, and Dorma, but pretty much uh, the first three, Bagi, Mera, Io, those are the ones that you want to use. Then uh, he's not going to have a whole lot of uh, abilities, pretty much just four. So the first one, his greatest one is gonna be Stemmy. So with Stemmy, that raises uh, attack power by two ranks, but also lowers weapon and physical technique uh, resistance. Then after that, uh, he's going to have a Sukono Ichigeki, which is going to be a critical blow. That does around 500 damage to one character. Then he's also going to have a Stick Muso, which is going to be Walking Stick Spin. So that does around 120 to 190 physical damage to all characters. And he's also going to have a regular attack, which does around 120 to 220 physical damage to one character. So uh, in regards to uh, the damages here, uh, since he does use Stemmy, if um, his attack power is raised, um, the damage is going to actually be a lot higher than what I actually have just said. But also with uh, the Kanda the Henchmen, uh, they're going to be different this time. Uh, before in the past, they actually used to be able to use Baikirt on uh, Kandata. But in this case, uh, they will not be able to do so. So uh, the Henchmen are going to be inanimate object, inanimate object enemies. They're going to have around 62,000 HP each, one action per turn. Again, weaknesses, Bagi, Mera, Io. So uh, their main ability is going to be Skuruto, which raises all allies' defense by one rank. Then after that, it's going to have Ruganon, which uh, uh, has a chance to lower all characters' defenses by one rank. And then they're going to have a regular attack, which does 220 to 320 uh, physical damage to one character. 
So pretty much things of note here. Um, do damage, uh, if you can, try doing damage to all enemies. That would help take out the henchmen first. Then, uh, especially because the henchmen are the ones that actually provide the defense buffs. Then after that, um, after Conduct the Showman uses Stimmy, take him out as fast as possible. Then after that, since the enemies here uh, only use physical uh, attacks, uh, Skata and Big Shield will be effective. But uh, pretty much for my strategy, I will not need to actually use those uh, particular abilities. So with that said, I want to go into this battle. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So the first thing I'm going to do here is use Tempest Blow on Kandata. So that's going to do Baki damage and also possibly lower his attack power. So let's see what happens there. It's around 6,000 damage. Uh, did not get to lower his attack power, but that's actually okay. Going to use Sky Dragon Judgment on Kandata here. Does uh, 6,000 damage. Pretty much almost the same as Tempest Blow. So here what I'll do is I will actually use uh, Blade Dance. So that's going to increase the attack power of my characters. And then there, my uh, ninja did get another attack power boost. There, ah, uh, missed. And then here, ooh, wow, okay. Then here, what I'll do is I will go ahead and use Magical Awakening. Okay, so uh, here again going to use Tempest Blow. So uh, the walking stick spin that he just did actually did um, a lot more damage than I actually uh, mentioned before. So it looks like uh, he can actually do that. Um, so just a little bit of correction there. So um, here, actually I'm going to be a little bit risky, use Blade Dance again. Then here going to use Sky Dragon's Judgment. Again, walking six spin. Then here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use wind chapter the end. So there, uh, ooh, okay. All right, that's okay, no problems. So okay, let's see. So going to use sky dragon's judgment again. Okay, 15,000 damage, nice. So Kanata is under 50% uh, of his health. So again, going to do Tempest Blow. And again, uh, did, was not able to lower his attack power, so um, this could actually be a little rough this coming turn. We'll see what happens. So there, uh, okay, so there goes Stemmy, and he's probably going to, ooh, okay, yeah, that actually did a lot of damage there. So, um, but with that, I'm going to actually be able to do more damage to him with uh, physical techniques and uh, weapon damage, so like that there, so 16,000 damage. So here, I want to heal up, so definitely he is now under 20% of his health. And here, okay, good. I got a nice, um, I got a, oh, God Chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Battle Demon Release. Hopefully this actually goes ahead and attacks Kandata. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it does. And not a minion. Yes. So now down, so 18,000 damage. So pretty much now I can actually just go ahead and uh, auto battle through this particular battle. So yeah, um, with this battle, um, I was not able to lower his attack power, so um, that actually made things a little bit risky uh, with the strategy that I have been doing. But uh, usually in previous battles that I did, I was able to lower his attack power, uh, no problem. But uh, yeah, with that there, I was able to finish him off uh, quite rather quickly, so um, yeah, no problem here. So with the henchman, got one henchman down there. So next is just one more left. Yep, 
Yep, so that one actually was uh, shadow woven and is now down. Okay. So this Hokura is worth almost 30,000 uh, XP. And Kandata, Shomen Kandata is a yellow, so here I got a D. Okay, so that battle went actually quite well. Um, like I was saying, I was not able to lower his attack power with uh, Tempest Blow, but that didn't matter too much. I was able to take him down after he used Stemmy. So, um, yeah, once he used Stemmy, uh, the uh, attack that I did with my ninja and my god hand were able to take him down and then after that the henchman pretty much just fell rather quickly so yeah so this definitely is a very good uh, team to use so what I want to do now is actually go over the S grade soul for the Shomin Kandata uh, soul so that's going to be let's see going to be down a little bit further right around actually right here so uh, this is going to be a soul cost of 68. Uh, since it's going to be yellow soul, uh, your main uh, stats are going to usually, it's usually uh, your max HP and also your durability and also your strength. So here you can see plus 53 for your uh, max HP, plus 80 for strength, plus 34 for your durability. Uh, those are pretty much your highest stats, except uh, here with your agility, you do have plus 36. Then here for your abilities, uh, you're going to have uh, plus 5% to uh, weapon skill damage, plus 10% to meta weapon and physical technique damage, uh, plus 5% uh, resistance to confusion, and plus 4% to your uh, critical hit rate. So that's actually pretty good if this is going to be a uh, if you're going to be using this on uh, lower level. Uh, classes so uh with that there i'm going to actually lock that in and with that said i'm going to end this video here so um i actually will probably go over um an eo based team and also a merry based team with this particular uh hokuto ruler so please stay tuned for that but until then i'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video